right. Good morning to everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Those that are watching with us online, good morning to you. Those that's here in the building, let's stand this morning. And can we just give the Lord a hand clap of praise, those that are here. Amen. And we appreciate your presence this morning. And our gospel course is going to give us our opening selection. And let's worship together. this morning, Lord, we've all stand in need of something. So, Lord, I pray, God, that we would open our spiritual tent doors to receive what you would have for us today. Lord, I pray, God, for those that are uh, with us here in worship, God, those that are watching online, if there's somebody sick in body, I pray, Lord, for healing, God. Lord, if there's somebody down in the valley of discouragement this morning, I pray, Lord, your sweet spirit would go by and encourage them, Lord. Prop them up on every lean inside. Lord, let somebody know this morning, you didn't bring them this far to leave them. Lord, we've been through many things this past week, but Lord, as we're here this morning, God, we can declare that we made it. And Lord, we made it by your grace and your mercy. Lord, it's a privilege to be able to come and worship you this morning. Lord, it's a privilege to be able to come and sing the songs of Zion. Lord, it's a privilege, Lord, to be able to stand and declare your word. So, Lord, while we do all of that this morning, Lord, help us not to forget what you've done for us. And, Lord, where you brought us from. And, Lord, where you're taking us to. Lord, we may not be where we want to be this morning, but, Lord, we're not where we used to be. 
Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for the change that's been in our life. Thank you, Lord, God, for sending your son to die on the cross for our sin. Lord, and Lord, this morning, if somebody's here watching that may not know you in the pardon of their sin, I pray today would be their day. Lord, bless us. Continue to take us higher and higher. And God will give you the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. This ain't my home. I'm just passing through. Amen. Amen. There's a brighter and a better day coming. Amen. 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 One day troubles and trials are going in. Come on here, somebody. Amen. So every day I get up, amen, I say, Lord, a private brown reporting for duty. I'm here to march some more. Amen. 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 Our morning scripture comes from Psalms 105 this morning. It says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice to seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done. His wonders and the judgment of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which his, his commanded to a thousand generations. Verse 9, the Bible says, Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to, a, to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto thee, will I give the land of Canaan to the lot of your inheritance. May the Lord add a blessing to his red word and sanctify it to the goodness of our soul. I'm going to ask if uh, our very own Deacon Jonah would come uh, with our morning prayer. Good morning, dear God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So that was a beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Why can't we be? <laughs> Why can't we be? We're supposed to be in his image. Why can't we be? Simple thing. Doesn't ask much for us just to be good. So simple. But we want to be bad. We'll be the opposite. I want to be honest. I don't know why we want to do this. But God has given us this wonderful day. Let us all bow our heads. A oh, wonderful God, creator of this beautiful heaven and earth, master of all, king of all, emperor of all, God of all. He's my boss. He's my father. He's my leader. He's my champion. He's my hero. But most of all, he is God the Father. Father, we come to you today thank you for the blessings that you've bestowed upon us. Father God, we thank you today. We, we've come today to praise and worship you today, God give you the honor to glorify you. 
Father God, we thank you that you've given your only begotten Son just for us, just for our souls. Let us never forget, never forget the reason that we walk through these doors. Father God, we ask you today to take care of those who are homeless today, who are in need today. Take care of our little ones who are returning to school. To... Father God, look out for them. There's so much history in this past few years of violence and corruption in schools. God, we know that you're in there, but we know that Satan has a way of going through an unlocked door, climbing through a window, arriving in somebody's heart and mind, and taking over. So God, we ask you today just to be with our kids. Keep them safe, dear God. Keep them safe, God, so that they may be learn to be wonderful stewards of, of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Stewards of our nation, our country. And wonderful sons and daughters for the parents. Father God, we ask you today to go into those nursing homes and rest homes and take care of the elderly. Take care of those who are incarcerated today, God. And show them the way. Father God, we ask you to go into the hospitals itself. Give the doctors and the nurses the ability to help someone, whatever that illness might be. Father God, we have so many that are sick and shut in. Father God, COVID is not over. We might think it's behind us, but it's still with us. But Father God, we ask you to look out for those who are suffering from COVID. Take care of those who are suffering from heart problems, kidney problems, cancer, lupus, leukemia. The list goes on and on, God. You know it better than I do. Father God, we know that you are the only one that can cover them. Cover them with the blood, dear God. Father God, we ask today for a prayer for our brother Mike, for our sister Maxine, and, and for, of course for Mary. God, we thank you for the blessings that you have bestowed upon their body, the healing that's taking place. We know these are done in your own time, so God, we're not saying brush these for us, but we're saying thank you. We're just saying thank you, God. We're saying thank you for the healing, because you are the, the leader and the master of all, the doctor of all, the lawyer of all. You're the one that can do it. Father God, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As we continue to serve us, we worship you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.
and thank the Lord this morning. I know some of, hey, come on, yes, sir. Hey, Amen. If you are on the line with us this morning, you, you ought to just type in there, thank you. If you're in the building, you ought to just give God the best praise you got. Hey, Amen. Because the fact is this morning, we've got so much to be thankful for. Ah, yes, he's been good to us. Save your soul. Put food on your table, clothes on your back. Ah, yes, been a bridge over troubled water. Ah, yeah, made ways out of no ways. Open doors that should have been shut. Amen. So I'm just going to tell him thank you this morning. Ah, bless him.
Good morning, family. How's everybody today? Good, amen. We want to thank you for those of you that are joining us in the sanctuary this morning, and we'd like to thank those of you who are joining us online. Be sure to like, share, and comment on our service. We love to interact with you, so comment on there, and we'll get back to you. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on our other social media platforms. Um, our service is broadcast on television every Tuesday at 11 a.m. on channel 1304. And we're also broadcasting on 97.5 digital if you want to tune in there. We'd like to say happy birthday, happy anniversary to all of you who celebrated in August. You know, it's about to come to an end, so we'll be selling our September people soon. <laughs> If you have a prayer request or would like to contact the church, please email us at coxmemorialfwbc at gmail.com or visit us on our website at coxmemorialfreewillbaptistchurch.org. If you would like to give a financial contribution or sow a seed into our ministry, please mail it to the church at 1632 Riddle Road, and that's Durham, North Carolina, 27713, or you can give online through Tidely or Cash App. If you want to get to the tithe, you can go to our church page, and it'll be a donate button. Just click there, and it'll walk you through. Our cash app is dollar sign Cox Memorial FWBC. Um, I want to thank you for all of you who came out yesterday for our church cleanup day. I heard it went very well. You got a lot done. So thank you again for those who you who put your hands together. That way we can continue to serve the Lord. Um, Bible study is every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on Zoom. So if you want to join us on there, we'd love to have you. You can go to the Facebook page and get the information. It's got a code and all that. Or you can go to our website and it give you that information so you can join us. There will be a five-night revival here on September 19th through the 23rd at 7 p.m. The theme will be re Rebuild, Restore, and Renew. I know that's going to be a blessing to all of us. Um, and the revival will end with the evening service on Sunday, September 25th at 3 o'clock. So I want everyone to come out, bring your friends, your family, so we can all get a blessing and receive a word from God and these preachers and just have a great time together. Um, I want to update you guys on our Cox Rocks Community Day. That's being moved from September 10th to October 8th. Again, that's being moved from September 10th to October 8th, and that's going to be from 10 to 4. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to update the flyer, and we'll get that out with more information. So just share with your friends and family so we can have a great turnout and just enjoy the day together. So let's continue on with our worship service and prepare ourselves to receive a great word this morning. Amen, amen. Thank you for our announcements. Uh, let us govern ourselves accordingly. Um, and as she did mention, uh, our community day has been pushed to October, and uh, and we want you to uh, start getting the word out for that. And uh, I do want to make a quick announcement. Um, for the month of September, uh, we will be in a series uh, Sunday mornings uh, leading up to our Community Day, I think this is fitting, been praying over this uh, on um, series will be on getting equipped to transform the world. And uh, I think this will be fitting uh, as we uh, prepare ourselves for our Community Day and reaching our community uh, and those in need of Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, so getting equipped to transform the world. The Bible calls us to go ye into all the world. Amen. And preach the gospel. Amen. And compel them to come. So uh, over the next uh, few weeks through September on Sunday mornings, we'll be dealing uh, with uh, some type of message around that. Amen. All right. Uh, Y'all ready? Let's sing. Amen. Let's continue to worship uh, this morning. Amen.
have to go by myself. Amen. 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 Come too far to turn back now. Amen. God's been too good to me. Amen. For me to throw in the towel and lift up my hand and say I'm done. Amen. 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 If you don't want to go, I'll go. Come on here. Amen. I, I said a long time ago, here am I. Come on. Amen. Lord, send me. Amen. Amen. Take your Bibles. Take your Bibles this morning to 1 John. Uh, 1 John chapter 2. If you've been with us uh, over the past several, several weeks uh, in our Bible study, we've been uh, in the book of 1 John on Wednesday nights. And uh, this morning I want to draw our attention back uh, to 1 John chapter 2 for our morning message. 1 John chapter 2, one verse this morning, quickly for the sake of time, that's verse 3. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. The Bible says, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. I want to talk to you quickly this morning on a simple thought, do you know him? Right. Do you know him? Brothers and sisters, this morning, uh, the writer here suggests that we know the Lord if we do what? Keep his commandments. But the question is this morning, how well do we really know Jesus? Uh, John, the human penman here for this epistle, uh, this morning, I believe that he knew the Lord Jesus. Uh, see, why do I believe that? Well, see, Jesus and John, their mothers were sisters. Come on here now. And there is no doubt that they had an acquaintance because of that relationship. But here it is. But there it was more to it uh, than just an earthly acquaintance. Come on here now. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But here it is. Uh, we believe, we believe this morning that John, uh, if you were to read John chapter 1, uh, verse 35 through 41, go read it in your time this evening. But I believe that John was the other disciple who, along with Andrew, followed after Christ uh, and abode with him uh, uh, that particular day than John chapter 1. But watch this now. Uh, see, it was John that came to know Christ uh, as his personal Savior. Uh, see, what I'm saying this morning uh, real quick is that I, uh -huh, if I know the Lord, you can follow me around like a, a dog on a leash, but that don't make you know the Lord. Come on here, somebody. See, see. Uh-huh, you got to have your own relationship with him. Come on here. Uh-huh, see, John came to know the Lord, uh-huh, as his personal Savior. See, he came to know him as the promised Messiah. Uh-huh, so, so in what way this morning do you really know him? See, there's a lot of people this morning, I believe, have a head knowledge of who Christ is, uh, but they don't have a hard knowledge. Come on here. And and uh, there is a big difference in having a head knowledge uh, of Jesus and having a hard knowledge of, right. of him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the Apostle Paul wrote, Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10, he said that I may know him uh, and the power of his resurrection. See here, I, I like when Paul said that I may know him. See, the, the fact is, this ought to be the true desire of all our hearts. Uh -huh. See, my desire this morning is to be like Paul and say that I may know him. Amen. And if you are born again and a child of God, it should be your desire to say, Lord, I want to know more about you. Come on here. I believe there's an old song in the hymn book that says, I want to know more about my Lord. Come on here. Yeah, yeah. I want to know more about him. Good God Almighty. See, see the, the question is, uh, uh, are we really uh, like John and are we Really, like Paul, 
Paul, do we really know him and do we have a desire right. to know him? See, yes. if you have a desire to know him, you'll do anything. Uh-huh. Come on here now. See, when you got a desire for something, uh, you'll do anything to make sure you get it. Come on here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You've been here. There's three things I, I want to give you quickly this morning. Uh, the number first thing is uh, I see in the text is a claim that was made. You say, what do you mean? A claim that was made. Look back at verse 3. It says, and here. By. We do know uh, that we know him. See, first of all, uh, if we claim that we know him, uh -huh. Uh -huh. see, see, there are many folk that claim to know him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But see, the Bible continues uh -huh, in verse 4. Look at it. He says, uh, he that saith I know him uh, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. Oops, uh, and the truth is not in him. Uh, see, that ain't what Dr. Brown said, but that, see, that's what the Bible says. So is it really, do you know him uh, truly or do you claim uh, to know him? Come on here. See, verse 4 separates those that truly know him uh, and those that claim to know him. See, because he said, he that saith I know him and keep him not his Commandments. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a liar. Uh, come on here. Now, I'm in the book. He said, uh huh. See, see, watch this now. Does it ever trouble you because it troubles me? Uh huh. It troubles me that, that so many people claim to know him, yet they seem to have little desire in their heart. Uh -huh. See, it troubles me that many people claim to know him, yet, uh huh, he seems to have made little or no difference in their life. I uh -huh. uh, see, see, if if you really know him, uh, like you say you know him, uh, he has made a difference in your life. Now watch it now, and not only will you see the difference, uh, but somebody else is going to see the difference. Uh, come on here, somebody. Uh -huh. I know we live in a world that say don't judge me, but the last time I checked, you can judge a tree by the fruited bath. Come on here, somebody. If I look at an apple tree, it ought not have bananas on it. It ought to have apples. Come on here, somebody. Because if the apple tree has got bananas on it, something ain't right. Come on here, somebody. I know we don't like this kind of preaching, but, but see, see, it bothers me with people like that because they hardly are moved in any way by the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, Jesus Christ uh, himself uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, said that many are going to come in that day claiming to know him. <laughs> and he will say, depart. From me, uh, uh -huh, ye that work iniquity. Come on here, somebody. See, he said, many on that day when I come back and you stand before the throne of judgment, uh -huh, many going to say, Lord, you know what I did. You know how many years I served you. You know how many years I preached for you. You know how many years I served on the digging board for you. You know how many years I sung in the choir. You know how many years I stood on the usher board. God don't care about none of your service like that. He cares about your heart first. Because if your heart ain't right, your service ain't right. Ah, uh, yeah, so here he said, many are going to come in that day and say, Lord, did you see what I did? And Lord going to say, yeah, I've seen what you did, but did you see your heart? Come on here, somebody. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this now. He said, depart from me. That's what he's going to say. You workers of iniquity. Uh-huh. See, see, and, and uh, let me give it to you. See, and they going to respond. I just told you, see. Matthew 7, verse 21 through 23. You read it if you don't believe me. Uh -huh. They're going to say, Lord, Lord, <laughs> have we not prophesied in thy name? Come on here. Yeah, but he will say, I never knew you. Come on here. Won't it be a shame to live your whole life in church and die without Christ? Come on here. Ah, uh, yeah, you got to know him for yourself. Uh, can't depend on the preacher, can't depend on the choir, can't depend on mama, can't depend on 
lady. You got to depend on the Lord yourself for yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, they come on here. Just cause you go to church don't mean you're going to walk through the pearly gate. Come on here, somebody. He said, depart from me. And we never knew you, you workers. I mean, they see, there's a claim that was made. Many claim uh -huh, to know him. But see, they had a head knowledge of who he was. They, they see, Judas claimed to know him. Come on here. But, but see, Judas had a head knowledge of, of what Jesus could do. He seen him raise the dead. He seen him give sight to the blind. Come on here. He seen what he could do. Watch this now. But Judas only had a head knowledge. His heart wasn't right. Ah, uh, come on here. Yeah, a claim that were many people would claim they know him. But yet give no evidence that they know him. Ah, uh, yeah, if you claim to know him this morning, there's going to be some evidence in your life, come on here, to say, I just don't know him, but I serve him. I just don't serve him, but I love him. Come on here. I just don't love him, but I'm going all the way with him. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, see, see, this morning, brothers and sisters, when you go to the car lot looking for a new car, you don't have to walk around Wondering which car is which. <laughs> see, see, there's a sign on it that says that Cadillac CTS. Come on here. There's a sign on it that says that Chevrolet 1500. Come on here. Amen. So I know what I'm looking at when I look at it. Y'all got me, don't you? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but here it is. Here I wish I had more time. But the claim that was made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, if you claim to know him, <laughs> there'll be evidence in your life. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I can't make you know him. Uh -huh. You got to know him for yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the evidence. But here it is. That was a claim that was made. Uh, but then there was a condition that was met. Uh -huh. There was a condition that was met. Here it is again. And hereby we do know that we know him. Here's the condition. If we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. See, see, if there's a claim that was made, uh, there has to be a condition that goes with it. Come on here. So what's the condition? See, obedience to his commands uh -huh. provides evidence that we know him. Uh -huh. See, this does not mean that we are perfect people, uh, but it does mean that we are going to have a heart yielded uh, to obey the Lord. See, I'm not perfect, but it's my desire to be like him. See, I'm not perfect, but, but I'm going to do everything I can to be obedient to his way and to his will. See, see, that's what the Bible says. Obedient is better than sacrifice. See, if, if I know him, not only if I claim to know him, but if I truly know him, I'm going to keep his commandments. In other words, I'm going to do what he said do. Come on here, somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how can you claim uh, this morning to be God's child if you have no desire to live in obedience to him? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. How can we claim to be one of God's little children? We talked about that the other week. But have no desire to obey him. Come on here. Uh -huh. You take your, your parents. I kind of used this the other night. Your parents here. Watch this now. Uh -huh. You they children. You under their roof. You're going to listen to what mama and daddy got to say. Come on here. Because as long as you under their roof and you don't do what mama and daddy say do. To her, see, there's some, some conditions that you're going to go through and live through long as you under my roof. Come on here, somebody. Uh -huh. See, the conditions are you got to be in before the street light comes on. Come on here. The conditions are you ain't out after 11 o'clock. Come on here. The conditions are ain't no little boy, little girl coming over here. Come on here. The conditions y'all ain't praying with me this morning. The conditions are you ain't gonna stay on the phone all night long. See, uh -huh. the conditions are you ain't gonna stay on the iPad up oh, y'all gonna pray with me all night long. See, there are some conditions that have to be met and followed. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. See, the same thing with God. If I'm one of His little children, uh huh. See, John talked about them little children here the other week. See, if I'm one of His little children, I've got some conditions that I've got to obey. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. See, and as long as I obey them, that is evidence that I'm one of his. Uh, see, when my children go out with me, uh, uh, wherever they go with me, come on here, somebody. Uh, uh -huh. Amen. If they doing what I done told them to do before we got to the store, it's evident, y'all, come on here. It's evident that they had some upbringing before they got there. But if I get to the Wally world and they start running around the store kicking and screaming because they want everything, that ain't no evidence that they had no upbringing at home. But as long as they walk around like they got some sense in their head, it's evidence that daddy and mama done taught them something before they got there. Y'all following me, ain't you? See, the, what's wrong with a lot of y'all and a lot of us is you ain't had no good upbringing in the house of the Lord. You ain't had no changed heart with God yet. That's what's wrong with a lot of us. Ain't no right evidence there. That's why you still acting crazy. Uh-huh. That's all they going to pray with me this morning. That's why you still living like hell because there ain't never been no true evidence in your life. Yeah, like in love with the dump it is in the word. If, if we uh, uh -huh, claim to know him, he said we going to keep his commandments. That ain't what I said. That's what he said. Amen. So there's a claim that there's a condition that's meant. Uh -huh. See, I'm almost done. See, I've got a desire to obey him. See, the Bible states, and we talked about it here the other week, that, that God does not want us to sin. But if we sin, we said the other week, we have that advocate. Uh -huh. See, he, he, he did not say that we were going to live those perfect lives, yet one cannot continue to live in disobedience and give evidence of truly knowing the Lord. See, see, I know I'm going to fall sometime, but it's not my desire to fall. Come on here this morning. Uh -huh. See, I know I'm going to fall by the wayside sometime. I'm going to let the Lord down sometime because of my spirit sinful nature and my flesh see I told you when you get saved your flesh doesn't leave it's still there it's a battle every day but but it, it, it has to be a desire if I'm going to please the flesh or obey God uh -huh. and if I truly know him my desire should be to obey him uh -huh. see here it is I'm almost done uh -huh. see in John 15 in John 15 verse 9 through 14 I believe it is it says, uh -huh, if we, if ye keep my commandments, uh -huh, ye shall abide in my love. Uh -huh. Ain't that what it says? Even John the air. So you may have times of disobedience, uh -huh, uh -huh, but you are going to be so troubled that you will want to make things right with him. I was talking to somebody the other week and said, I know when I do something wrong because a spirit in me deals with me. Come on here, somebody. And that's some good evidence to let me know that the claim that I made is a right claim. Come on here. See, if you just do what you want to do, disobedient to God, and nothing deals with you, something wrong. <laughs> uh -huh. See, if you can just sin against God, if you can just go against God, and nothing seems to deal with you, uh -huh. That means you missing something inside of you. Come on here, somebody. Uh huh. So I gotta move. I gotta move. See here. Uh huh. See, it is sad. It is that people uh, that have made so little of being a Christian. Uh, yeah, we live in a world today that people have downsized being a child of God. But I want to go on record this morning. It's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to be called one of his little children. Come on here somebody. Uh huh. So you can downplay it like you want to but I'm glad of who I am. I'm glad of the claim that I made. I'm glad to know him. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done here but, 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 but I, I've seen the claim that was made. The, the, the condition <clears throat> that was met. <laughs> but then there's a conduct that's manifested. Right. Uh, yeah, I told you that if it's something inside of you, <laughs> uh -huh, it's going to be shown on the outside. Right. Oh, yeah. See, there's a conduct that was manifested. See, in 1 John here, uh, in verses 3 through 5 here in chapter 2, see, God says that if you do not keep his commandments, uh, uh -huh, yet 
the one that says that, he said he's a liar. Watch this now. You may ask, does this mean I'm to live this sinless perfection? No, I just told you that. But it means that if you claim to know him and continue in willful disobedience to him, there is no real evidence, watch this, of salvation in your life. Because if there's real salvation in your life, you would have no desire to get up in the morning and willfully sin against God. If you have that real salvation, uh, uh -huh, you would have no desire to get up in the morning, go to the refrigerator and get a six pack. If you have a real desire, you won't have to wait till Saturday night, amen, to say the club is hopping. If you got a real desire, change will come. I know y'all don't like this, but you take it up with God. He said, because if, Lord have mercy, if you mind, you'll keep my command. Ah, uh, here it is. There's a conduct that's manifested. See, here it is. Our conduct will give evidence of our conversion. Uh-huh, yeah. See, the way I walk, the way I talk uh -huh. the the way I do things, uh, the the way that 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 I treat people, uh, the yeah. way that I love my neighbor, uh, uh -huh, the way that I I serve God is an evident of my conversion. All right. It's an evidence of who I am. It's an evidence my conduct. Huh, see, see, watch this now. And the conduct that I have is manifested uh, in me. Huh? Yeah, see, 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 the Holy Spirit that I say that I have. Uh huh. Yeah, if it's inside of me, uh, uh, watch this now, it's going to show on the outside of me. See, if the claim that I made is true, uh huh, you're going to see. That uh, uh -huh, the God that I say that I love, uh, I truly love him. Come on here. Uh -huh, if it's really on the inside of me, the God that I say I serve, uh, you're going to see me truly serving him. If the, if the, if the Lord have mercy be called, uh -huh, it's going to manifest. Uh -huh, it's going to show. I'm done here. He said, uh -huh, if you say that you love me, uh, you'll keep my commandments. Uh, uh -huh. Then here in 1 John, John in this epistle tells me that if I claim to know him, uh, uh -huh, yes, yes, I, I will keep his uh, commandments. My question is this morning, uh, do you really know the Lord? Uh, uh -huh. My question is this morning, uh, has there ever been a change in your life? Uh, my question is this morning uh, is not have you joined the church. Uh, my question is this morning uh, is not have you been baptized. Uh, but my question is uh, have you ever made a confession of faith? Uh, has there ever been a time in your life uh, that you admitted that you were a sinner? Uh, has there ever been a time in your life uh, that you believed on the Lord Jesus? Uh, has there ever been a time I'm in your life that you said, Lord, what must I do to be saved? I'm out of here now, but do you really know it? Has there been a change in your life? If you know him, you will walk right. If you know him, you will talk right. If you know him, you will treat your neighbor right. If you know him, you will love your neighbor. Somebody shout yes. Do you know him like I know him? Shout yes. Do you know him? You can tell how you know him. Come over here. I got. I got to quit. I got to quit. <laughs> The claim that was made. If you claim to know him, there'll be evidence. The claim that was made, the conduct manifested. 
Ah, uh, come on here now. Listen to me. Listen. If you know him, there's been a conversion in your life. Uh huh. See, there's been a change in your life. What's manifested in your life? The good, the bad, or the ugly. Come on here, somebody. But if you really know him, the good should outweigh the bad. Uh, if you really know him, you ought to ask yourself the question this morning. What's my desire? Is my desire to serve him? Is my desire to do what the Lord has commanded me to do? <laughs> Is my desire to love my neighbor despite what they do to me? Don't worry about the one beside of you and in front of you. You got to work out your own soul salvation. Many folk going to die and go to hell because they're worried about somebody else instead of getting themselves right first. But you can't get nobody else right until you get yourself right. And here's the fact, you can't get yourself right. That's why you still messed up. You got to let God get you right. But you got to have that desire to get right. Let's stand this morning, those that's in the building. If you're watching online with us, if you're in the building, would you bow your head? Would you bow your head with me? I got a, two appeals. My first one is, do you have a relationship with Christ? Do you know him as your personal Savior? <clears throat> I told you John <clears throat> knew the Lord because their mothers were sisters. They had an earthly acquaintance. But John's relationship went a little further with the Lord than that. Even though he had an earthly acquaintance with him, he knew he had to have a heavenly Acquaintance with him. He came to know him for himself. So the question is, do you truly know him? The claim that you claim that you made, is there evidence that there's been a change in your life? Is there evidence that for God you live and for God you shall die? Have you ever admitted that you were a sinner, believed that he died, buried, was resurrected? Have you ever confessed your sin? The Bible says, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That whosoever includes everybody. Black, white, yellow, purple, bad, good, or in the ugly. Whoever you are, Jesus came and died for your sin. And he's standing this morning with his arms wide open. Say, come unto me. Oh, he laboring heavy laden. I'll give you rest. My second appeal is you say, Pastor, I know the Lord. I have a relationship with him. But somewhere along the way, I'm not where I used to be. But I want to get back to where I used to be. I want to be better than I used to be. Would you just pray for me? Just put your hand up, put it down if you're in the building. I want to pray for you. If you're watching online, God bless you. If you're watching online, would you just send us a message or type in there? Would you pray for me? Maybe you've got that relationship with it, but you're not where you want to be, but you want to, you want to get better than you were. You want to get back where you were. To get back on the right track that's, so that you can be all that he wants you to be. Because I told you, even having a relationship with Christ, we, are, we don't live a sinless life. We are not in perfection, but we're striving for it. And all sin and come short of the glory of God. But the difference is, is your desire to sin or is your desire to serve Him? this morning those of us that have heard your word God help us to take what
what we've heard this morning and apply it to our life. Lord, help us this morning to take what we've heard and spread it to somebody else. Oh, Lord, this morning for that man, that woman, that boy, or that girl that may be out of the ark of safety, may not be in a relationship with you, Lord. They may have a head knowledge of who you are, but they don't have a heart knowledge. I pray, Lord, that you would speak to their heart this morning and let them know they need to come to you before it's everlasting to wait. Lord, I pray today would be the day of salvation for them, that they would call upon you. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sin. I admit that I'm a sinner. Wash me in your precious blood. Put me in right standing with you. And Lord, for that one that of us, we have a relationship with you, but Lord, we're not where we want to be this morning. Lord, those things in our life that are hindering us from being everything that you want us to be, would you remove them this morning? Help us to get back to where we need to be with you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what you've done this morning within our hearts. Lord, I'm trusting and believing this morning, God, that somebody's going to come to know you. And God, that somebody is going to get in a relationship with you this morning. Your word has went forth, God. I now pray the word of God would do what it has been sent to accomplish to do. And Lord, we'll be so careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. We're going to get ready to take up our tithes and offering. If you put your tithes and your offering in your hand, if you're giving online, those that are watching online, uh, you can give so by cash in. Now, 